Hi, my name is Ivan Lester, and this video presentation will be about a storage device or storage devices. In this video, I will go over the difference between file systems and Windows operating system and the Linux operating system. I will kind of go over why I prefer one or the other. Uh, I will go over two enterprise networks and kind of go over using storage devices all together. Uh, so first off with the Windows and Linux operating systems, they both use a hierarchical file system structure, meaning that the uh, files are organized in a tree-like fashion and with uh, directories brushing off of the root directory. Uh, however, there are a few differences and those differences lie in how the root directories are designated. In Windows, they are more, they use a letter system like uh, C drive, A drive, D drive, uh, things of that nature. And Linux uses uh, a single root directory represented by the forward slash. Uh, this makes uh, Linux, uh, the Linux file structure more standardized and centralized compared to Windows, which has a multi uh, drive based structure. Um, when it comes to which one I prefer, Honestly speaking, I, I prefer Windows as of right now because I'm used to it. And a lot of times when you're used to something, that's what you go with. But I'm learning uh, Kali Linux uh, a lot. Um, I'm learning it a lot more, being able to play with it a lot more. And the more that I use it, the more that I play with it, I feel like I'm going to uh, like it a lot better. Uh, but I just can't say that I do now because I'm just not used to the system. Uh, Kali Linux is definitely great for scripting and where Windows isn't. But as of right now, I only prefer Windows because I'm, I'm just simply just used to it. Um, right now, I do want to go over uh, two store solutions in Enterprise Networks, which is which I chose uh, Storage Area Network, also known as SANS, and Network at Attached Storage, NAS. So basically, uh, SANS is a high-performance performance network that connects to multiple storage pools to multiple servers. Uh, SANS are independent of the organization's uh, user network and can both be Ethernet and fiber channels. Uh, SANS are scalable and offer high availability and redundancy, where NAS is a central pool disk storage uh, that stores that multiple users and clients devices can access. NAS is a Ethernet based uh, and it focuses more on the ease of use, manageability, scalability, and low uh, cost to the ownership. Uh, NAS storage controllers uh, partnerships to, well, it partners to the storage and owns the file system. Uh, and basically, with enterprise storage solutions, what they do, they help organi organizations manage large amounts of data, ensure the data availability and reliability, and support operational efficiency. So it's basically, with between SANS and NAS, it's what do you want to get out of the two of them, or how do you want to use it? Uh, SANS is a higher performance, uh, in a sense, well, not in a sense, it is a higher performance uh, system, and it moves faster, you have different channels, so it can be Ethernet, it can be uh, fiber channels, you can scale it to uh, anything you need to scale, and it has a high availability and redundancy, so it just, it works a lot faster and a lot better than what NAS can. And when it comes to, well, the question is, from a Christian perspective, identify the ethical considerations of utilizing storage devices and information technology and systems. Uh, personally, as a Christian, using storage systems help. Uh, I hope that I'm saying this right. It, it really does help uh, back things up. Also, keep privacy. To there's a, a lot of data and information. That, since we use a lot of technology, a lot of times with personal information when it comes to tithes and offerings, and also accounts where the church is helping out with medical bills and things like that, having these things backed up and backed up in a way where it's private, um, uh, using things uh, like uh, USBs or 
separate hard drives. Therefore, you know they're in a safe place. You want you want to keep those things safe. You want to keep those things uh, private because um, you're you're doing it just to help people. Um, and from a Christian standpoint, you want to protect your people. You want to protect uh, the people who are looking towards you, looking to you for this help because you know you are. You are that Dyson to these people. You are uh, that symbol of hope uh, that God has provided. So using using these storage systems, whether I personally would use external storage systems for very, very sensitive data when it comes to backing up things as well. Because if something does happen, you have it, but you have it in a safe place. So that is my presentation. I hope that I was clear and concise as, as best as I possibly can. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a message. Thank you again. Once again, my name is Alan Lester, and I hope you have a, a, a nice rest of your day after watching this.